is insane. Who wants it? Who wants it? Let me turn on my chair, y'all. Um, I got a question to ask. Who really? Who really wants um? Who really wants this experiment to end? y'all truly, truly want this experiment to end? And y'all think that this is a joke? Um, especially the <laughs> blacks for Trump and all these ridiculous people. Because, listen, I understand what, how you feel about the Democratic Party. But to even... Have somebody stand in your face and tell you they are willing to suspend the Constitution. And y'all don't have a problem with that. It just shows me, oh, my God, they knew exactly what they were doing when they took civic out of school. They knew exactly what they doing when they dummied half of the society down that you got these damn, I'm sorry, Trump supporters, the MAGA supporters who are dumb as doorknobs. They are dumb as doorknobs. And every time you quest, ask them a question that they can't answer, they just walk away. You know, and I'm, you know, especially when they say stuff that, like, Biden's too old. But I'm like, what the f uh, D Donald Trump is only a couple years younger than him. So they both old. They both too old. Why? And what is with all these freaking white men running this country? They running it in the ground. They running it in the damn ground. And that's exactly what's happening. And then they go, well, this is our country. And we can, really, it's not, though. Really, you stole it. But you put people in jail for stealing. But you stole this land. And that's why we say the white man speak with forked tongue. Your tongue is so damn forked. That is, this is insane. Because what brings on this rant is, listen, let me appeal to anybody's intellect and intelligence. No matter how mad you are at the Democratic Party, because they both are the, uh, different wings on the same bird. Okay, we, we, we've come to that conclusion, right? Those of us who know. Those of us who had civic in school, where we had to know five... Uh, Four score and five, you know what I mean? When we had to actually, actually know things, okay? It, all that stuff that I may can't recite now, but they were all taken from my civics class. What is it, four score and seven years ago, our father? Listen, they were taken straight from civics. So how does the world done advanced if y'all saying we can now have a president that don't even believe in the constitution that's that's the main linchpin right there how can you be president and you don't even believe in the constitution you try to so so this is sick so who's behind this now okay i know that the people in new york and the people all the finance the department, they've been no Donald Trump was a crook. Him, I mean, they Donald Trump had so many lawsuits when he was just in New York for discrimination against black people, putting marks on their applications, not wanting to rent to black people. I mean, come on. And it's such an insult when you see these young people that don't know the history and they sit there and because they so disgruntled will say something like, well, I don't want, I don't, I, I'm going to vote uh, uh, for Donald Trump. Because we know a vote for Jill Stein, or if you stay home, those votes are going to Donald Trump, right? The fact is, you got to get rid of Donald Trump once and for all. Who wants this to happen? Who wants, if it really matters, okay? 
because they want to turn this into a dictatorship. Somebody is behind it, like the crown. If this man said he don't support the Constitution and that's going to be his lawyer's uh, argument, and y'all actually going to argue this fact, that he stood up there six years ago, whenever it was, and five years ago, whatever, and said that he was going to, was it um, 2016, that he was going to support and protect. So they say in that one word, he never said that. This is the most insidious craziness I've ever heard in my life. Okay? And it's, it's nothing but Satan. This is the big Satan right here. Because do you think a black man, you think this would be able to happen, even though a Barack Obama's phenotype is white, his mama is white, but the African features of that African make you think he's black, but he was raised by white people or people that wasn't fundamental or Adolf. So he's basically, you know, besides him playing basketball, he had to be, that's the way they indoctrinated him into the black community. Because, you know, we love that stuff, that basketball and shit. The fact of the matter is, people in New York been know Donald Trump was a cheater. And I want y'all to see, they might have scrubbed it from the internet now. Donald Trump was sitting there on the couch with all his kids, I think a few of his kids and a few um, Melania, and they were watching the results of the election when he won. And I promise you, I can't find it. Maybe somebody's got the clip, maybe somebody has seen it, where when he won, the, when the camera zoomed in on his face, you already know he didn't even want it. Look, my brother saw it. My One of my older brothers uh, told me, he was like, did you see Donald Trump's face? What the hell was that? Now I get it. He knew that all this shit was going to come in, to the end, and they just used him to stir up some stuff. Because democracy is dying. America is dying. And they feel like, I believe, the powers believe if they put a, 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 a demagogue in front of us, and and for us as black people who are so perpetually miserable, we'll vote for somebody for the shallowest things. He got Kodak Black out of jail. Kodak Black paid him two million, or um, Wheezy, Wheezy then paid him five million. Whatever price that Donald Trump charged them, and y'all okay with that? But he's making policies. They said, well, he, he signed up for the criminal justice reform. And I'm looking at them going, so y'all don't remember Obama at all and the, and the prison reform. Y'all don't remember when he started breaking down the powder cocaine and the rock cocaine and the, um, the sentencing of it. You know, when he was already pardoning people before Donald Trump even got in there. The thing is, he just ain't part nobody that tried to hurt America or he tried or tried to, that was just a demagogue. Donald Trump, you, you, you got a price? I'll pay it. I'm out of jail. Don't matter if I even try to murder somebody. That's the kind of person we're dealing with. And all I'm saying is, if you go back and look at that, that footage, right away when they declared him the winner, Donald Trump wasn't happy at all because he knew his empire was getting ready to come down. He already knew. And that's right then, I believe, is when they decided to hock that plan that we can't never leave. We can't never leave. Because he knew his shit was going to come down, uh, going to come crashing down. The way, because he's totally outside the system. But see, he took that little bit of positivity that he's outside the way traditionally Washington worked and a lot of people supported that thought he would be something different but <laughs> but he can't be controlled at all he can just steal money steal stuff 
and keep it moving. Sell uh, secrets, classified documents, all this kind of stuff. And white people, the elite of you. And the reason why, and I, I, you know, I don't mean to insult y'all, but no black people really up in there in the elite section doing any damn thing. It's y'all who running this. It's y'all who destroying it. It's y'all who started fundamentally when you start knocking off the native and native. You it's the indigenous people. And so a part of me tell me this gotta come down. Because anytime you try to play a gaslighting word game with me now, that he can suspend the constitution and he never said that he would defend it. I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all should be up in arms about this sickness. Insane. But they we, they got us so desensitized, we don't even give a damn no more. It's like, what fight do we want? They got all these distractions going on, Puffy and the, the girl. They got all of it. Kiki Palmer, they got basketball. What, all these distractions while they wreak havoc on our emotions, on our spirits. So most of us have to go to a place where it gets still because this is demonic, absolutely demonic to try to make somebody feel that now he can be a president and he's just telling you he want to suspend the Constitution. Well, if that's the case, just say, look, we don't want the Constitution no more. Let's just go from there. Let's not even play the game, all this theater shit. Let's not even do it. Okay, I know I'm going too far. I know it. I'm going too far. Okay. All right. I'll stop. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I would really appreciate Thank you all for participating and asking the questions that need to be asked. Thank you for every email that has come through. I have tried to answer every single one of them. It may take me a minute, but I do. I get to it. I want to um, say that we got some tough times ahead. Because I cannot believe, you know, once Donald Trump is in office, he ain't never leaving. You can just kiss that shit goodbye. And if, are y'all okay with that? That's, you know, for the half of American that got... Uh, the sane and rational, that just kicks up anxiety. It kicks up your anxiety that the people could be that damn crazy. And once I, I see all these uh, Trump supporters and you ask them questions, oh, my God, their responses are something straight out of a comic book. Um, with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.